Hello friends. Today we are going to learn about calculation of time on the basis of meridian and GMT. So the word meridian is having a meaning of longitude. Longitudes are the lines of an earth surface which are imaginary lines and which are intersecting to the latitudes which are also known as parallels of latitude. latitude. And the GMT stands for Greenwich Meridian Time which is located at the zero degree prime meridian location. So the friends, we know that earth is rotating towards its own axis and its direction of rotation is from west to the east. And due to that reason, we are having to see that the sun is rises at the east and getting set down to the west. Secondly, we have to know about some facts regarding latitudes and longitudes. So these are the horizontal line which are running on the surface of the earth. Of course these are imaginary lines. Those are known as a latitudes which are useful, uh, helpful to understand the different different climatic zones in the earth. Okay so the first zone is tropical zone which is having hot weather and which is confined to the zero degree latitude which is also known as an equator then it it extends from zero degree to 23 and half degree north and south after that we are having temperate zone or the warm zone where the weather is warm and most of the deserts are found in this area then after that we are having a cold zone polar zone that temperate zone is extended from 23 and half degree north to the 66 and half degree north and south respectively and after that after 66 and half degree to the 90 degree north and south pole we are having this cold weather or polar zones here we are having the arctic cap or here it, we are having antarctic cap antarctic is a landmass and arctic is ocean so basically we can categorize the weather conditions in three format hot warm and cold and Due to these latitudes, we are segregate these different different climatic zones. Here in the second diagram, these are the longitudes or meridians we call it as. They are running from northern pole to the southern pole. And the total number of longitudes present on the earth's surface are 360. Of course, I am repeating again all these lines, these horizontal lines and these vertical lines are imaginary lines on the surface of the earth. Then zero degree longitude, which is also known as a prime meridian and which is running through the Greenwich city in the London, UK, United Kingdom. And the time which is present at the Greenwich, which is known as a GMT, which stands for Greenwich Meridian Time. Fine. So we need to know about some facts regarding latitudes and longitudes. Okay. So these longitudes or the meridians are running from north to the south. They are getting intersecting at the polar region and the maximum distance between them is having at the equatorial region. And the direction of movement of earth is from west to east that we already know. Now earth completes one rotation around its own axis in nearly 24 hours and that is one day. There are 1440 minutes in a one day and we are getting calculated here the number of minutes in a one day using this formula 24 multiplied by 60 the minutes in hour and we are getting this number 1440. So the total minutes to complete one rotation are 1440 divided by total number of meridians are 360 if we divide 1440 by 360 we will get this number the 4 and what is that 4 means therefore it will take 4 minutes to pass one longitude in front of the sun so that is the basic formula we need to understand to calculate the time of any place that one longitude is passing from the in front of the sun within a 4 minutes okay fine so let's take an example to understand this is clearly okay so the example first determine the local time of thimpu 
which is the capital of Bhutan, located at 90 degree east longitude, when the time at Greenwich 0 degree is 12 noon. So, we are going to know where is the place of Greenwich. Here it is London, UK, and here it is a Greenwich. And where is the Thimpu? So, this is the northeastern corner of India, and here it is the Bhutan and the capital Thimpu. Okay, so there is a gap between these two cities of 90 degree, which is mentioned in the example. Now, the statement is the time increases at the rate of 4 minutes per 1 degree of longitude east of the prime minute. So, the statement you need to understand clearly time is increasing towards east. If your desired location is at the east side of the prime meridian then the time will increase okay the solution difference between greenwich and Thimpu is equal to 90 degree of longitude given in the example here it is mentioned okay then the total time difference how to calculate it 90 degree of longitudes multiply by time factor that is 4 that we know the one longitude takes 4 minutes to pass so the 90 degree will take 360 minutes to pass okay then we convert these minutes into the hours that is 360 divided by 60 and we'll get the answer 6 hours so therefore local time of thimpu is 6 hours more than that of greenwich that is 6 pm so the you can again revise this statement time is increasing what is the time at Greenwich? There is a 12 noon and it increases by 6 hours. That means it will be 6 p.m. at Thimpu. Okay. So what if, if the, our desired location is other than east, if it is a west side of the prime meridian, we will get it in the next example. Okay. If the example 2 is like, determine the local time of New Orleans, the place which was worst affected by Katrina hurricane in October 2005 and the located at 90 degree west longitude when the time at Greenwich is 12 noon again. Okay, so here you have to remember this place is at the west side of the Greenwich. To understand this, we are again going to see the map here. The first of all, see here it is Greenwich with the prime meridian and the west side of the Greenwich, we are having North New Orleans and it is located at this USA part. Okay. Now, here also we are putting some statement. The time is decreasing at the rate of 4 minutes per 1 degree of longitude west of the prime meridian. See, in previous example, the desired location was at the east. So, that, that's why time was increasing. But here in this case, the desired location is placed at west side. So the time is going to be decreased. Okay. The solution is same difference between Greenwich and New Orleans is equal to 90 degree of longitude, which is mentioned in the here in example. The total time difference is equal to 90 multiplied by 4. 4 is a factor. 4 is the minutes of time which is required to pass one longitude in front of the sun. So to pass the 90 latitudes, we will require 360 minutes and 360 divided by 60 to get the figure in hours and that is 6 hours. So therefore, local time of New Orleans is 6 hours less than at Greenwich that is 6 a.m. So friends, hope you have understood how to calculate the time using prime meridian with the help of this factor, the 4 minutes per 1 degree longitude. Okay, so if the desired location is at the west side of the prime meridian, then the time will decrease. And if the desired location is at the east side of the prime location, prime meridian, then time will increase. Okay, so hope you will understood this and practice this example at home. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.